is the fall transition. The fall transition is when the days get shorter, the nights get cooler, and the fish begin to move up and scatter out. They start to chase shad. They're not really shallow. They're not really deep. They're spread out everywhere. As one of my friends put it, if you catch a fish on one bait, put it down for the rest of the day and fish something different. Because as you can see here, the fall transition means you're gonna to have to be ready for anything. Let's get a rundown of today's conditions. So to start with, the air temperature is gonna start out this morning around 58 degrees. Uh, we'll go up about 20 degrees as the day goes on. It's gonna reach about 78 degrees. We're in early October, uh, early fall. The water temperature is gonna start right at about 70, about 69.8, and it'll probably gain a few degrees as the day goes on. It seems like we've been in a high pressure for a month and a half, and, and, and of course it's not gonna change today as you can see uh, by the video. So let me explain a little bit of what's going on here. There's a road bed that sits at about 30 to 35 feet deep here. It drops off to the old creek channel, which sits at about 45 feet deep. The big key to catching fall bass is find the bait fish. There was uh, several schools of bait fish in this particular area, and just so happens I run across on this road bed a spot where there looked to be a school of bass. Look at that big old fat small mouth. That is probably the biggest small mouth I have caught on this lake. And I caught him on top water in about 45 feet of water. And that goes to show you they will come up and slam it. So as the day went on, the bite got tougher and tougher. Uh, the school of smallmouth that I had located, uh, I lost contact with them, couldn't find them. The topwater bite died down. Uh, I had a few more that sort of chased after, but no real takers. So as the sun got higher in the sky, I decided to put down the topwater and pick up the flipping stick. And that's how we sort of ended the day out, was flipping some uh, deep laydowns. This time of year, the fall transition is tough. And as you can see through the rest of the video, it was a pretty tough day for me. He ain't much, but there's number two.
Well, there's another little one flipping. Fall transition. day is done we boated four three of them were dinks uh we got you know i caught the best smallmouth on this lake i've ever caught and there's smallmouth on this lake uh i'm sure there's probably a couple of good size ones uh but they don't generally get that big on this lake so i was really surprised and that was awesome that it come up at like 30 foot of water uh, 40 foot of water. I don't even remember what, how deep we were in, but it slammed that living. It was a grind. And that's what the fall transition period generally is all about. Uh, I resorted to flipping. This is not a flipping lake. I knew I probably wasn't going to catch any big ones once I started flipping. But, uh, you know, I wanted to catch some. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you learned something from it. So questions and comments about the fall turnover in the comment section below. Again, uh, give your advice. Uh, let's make this channel a uh, knowledge-based uh, channel. Let's share our knowledge with each other and uh, help each other get better as anglers and catch more fish. Um, as always, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Gosh, I can't talk today. And you guys rock.